Hey there, everybody. My name is Rick Hutzer here with Ergon Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today, and I know I tell you guys this all the time, I'm super excited about the products we're going to talk about today because it really changes everything when it comes to PCP air guns. All right, so before I get started, just a teeny bit of history. I started out shooting spring guns, already been through that. Then I got the chance to shoot my first PCP. Now, when I did that, it was before you could buy your own compressor, really. I mean, you could, but if you had like thousands of dollars. But you had to go get a scuba tank filled, and then you had to have all the gear. It was sort of this big mystery. Well, that's really changed. Nowadays, you can buy cheap little compressors, and you know, you can go down and get tanks. They're just sort of everywhere these days. But in the beginning, it was just super expensive to get going into PCPs. Well, that all changed, and we saw some new rifles coming out that were you know, more affordable and more affordable and more affordable, and we saw hand pumps drop in price, and then we saw personal compressors hit the market. And with that said, I wanna talk about the new Nomad 2. Now, really the holy grail, in my opinion, of a, of a personal compressor is that $500 price point. Well, this was designed to hit that, but we had these Chinese price tariffs and all these things happen. So as much as we'd love this to be $500, it's really coming in at 650, which is really not that much of a difference when you look at the capabilities that you're getting with the product. So the Nomad 2, what is it? It is a personal compressor that's designed to fill your PCP air gun. Now, if you try and fill a bottle, you're gonna burn it up. So don't do that. Even the small bottles, it's not designed for that. It's designed to fill just your rifle. Now you can have a rifle with a large bottle, that's okay. But as far as filling tanks, you, you just wanna stay away from that. Now before we get going too far, this thing's your best friend. This is your manual. This is gonna tell you what you need to know about running this successfully. Um, don't ignore this, this is super, super important. So let's talk about some of the features. This unit and what really sets this apart is it's fully self-contained and it runs on 12 volt, here we go, it runs on 12 volt, as well as 110. So you can take this with you to the range in your car, pull, it's got a really nice case too. You take this with you, set it there, you know, on the hood of your truck or your car, or whatever, you hook your battery up and fill your gun. That is super cool. Um, and it's not multiple pieces, it's just one self-contained box and it weighs maybe, I don't know, 18 pounds, 15 pounds, it's not very heavy. You can also run 110. That's also very cool, and the whole thing doesn't draw that much power. Some of the features, really nice controls on the top here. It's auto shut off, which is very cool, and it will go all the way up to 4,500 PSI, all right? Now, it has a load, which is basically dealing with the kind of amperage and current you're pulling, I believe that's what it's about. You're going to stay below 30. If you go over 30, the unit's going to shut off because you're driving it too hard. So it does have some controls in there, but if you force it and force it and force it, you will burn it up. I just want to make that point over and over and over. This is designed to fill your guns, not your tanks. You try and do that, you're going to burn it up, and that's going to void your warranty. So don't do that. Stick to just filling your guns. So it comes with a hose and a filter built in. You take this part, there's a filter in it, comes with spares. That's very cool. That helps stop some of the moisture and some of the particulates from getting into your gun. And underneath, you'll see it in the manual, but underneath there is another drain that is more condescent and other things go out the bottom. One of the things that's super important to take a look at when you're working with the Nomad is right here, there's a silicone oil port. Now this is super important and you, you want to do what the manual says. You may find that you may need to oil it a little bit sooner, or maybe not quite as long, but definitely start off with just paying attention to the manual. But the way this works, or what you want to do, is you want to take silicone oil, and just silicone oil, guys, nothing else. If you don't have silicone oil, get some, because that's what you have to use. And we're going to put a couple drops right down that hole there. That goes in the tube there, goes down into the compressor head, provides some lubrication so that everything works properly. 
All right, it's enough talking about the compressor and all the features. There's not a lot to it. There's a power button on off and your pressure control. Let's see the thing work, right? So what I have on the table here, this is the Diana Storm Rider, and I'm using this specifically for this reason. You can put a rifle, scope mount, scope, and compressor, you can put that together for less than a thousand bucks. That to me is pretty exciting because once you have this, then any other PCP you want to shoot and be able to fill it yourself, you've got the gear. So you can for a thousand bucks start right out the gate and have something you can go shoot anytime you want, have a decent scope, decent shooting rifle, and a way to fill it for that price point. That to me is very exciting. So now let's say you're thinking, well, Rick, I don't want to buy that and then have to buy something else. Well, here's the cool thing about the Nomad 2. Even if you do get this, let's say you've already got a compressor, let's say you've already got tanks, and yes, we know this can't fill it, but because you can put this in your car and take it with you, that means your hunting trips, uh, your camping trips, your trips to the range, you've got your own compressor. So even if you have the big compressor and bottles at the house, this gives you that really good portability so you can take this anywhere. Now, let's go ahead and fill this gun up. We're going to write it about, about 150 bar. So we're not going to have to put a lot of air in this. And this is a very small cylinder. This is probably going to be about two minutes to fill this. I think I can wait two minutes to be able to go shoot again without having to run a hand pump, personally. Down here at my range, I don't have electricity, so this is actually running off an inverter that I have in the back of the shop here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button. And what you're gonna hear is you're gonna hear the thing sort of, you're gonna hear it spool up. It's got two big fans in it. It's got a fan up here for the power converter, and it's got a major cooling fan down here. That's what's cooling this off, and as you can see, it's moving a whole lot of air, okay? Because with these things, heat is your enemy, and they've done a pretty good job doing all they can to keep that heat down. Now, when I hit the on-off, you're going to hear this main fan sort of drop a little bit and then come right back up. Here we go. Okay, now we are... Oh. Make sure we're all tight. We started making air on the dial. If I can do this. Hand me my phone. Quick, quick, quick. That was my assistant. And that's basically it. I mean, that's how we fill a gun. It's that simple. And we'll go ahead and bleed it out. Disconnect it. And now we are full. Unless you're filling from dead empty and you're filling like a gun with a 480cc bottle, you're gonna be under three, four minutes to top your, top your gun off. To me, I think that's perfectly acceptable considering if I had to use a hand pump, a good hand pump's gonna run you close to 300 bucks and it's a lot of work. So, you know, I know I could use the exercise, but I don't want to. That's why we have these little devices. And I, that's why, as you guys could probably tell, I'm super excited about seeing this hit the market. Maybe for the first time ever, you can get a quality electric compressor, rifle scope, ready to go out and shoot for less than a thousand bucks. I think that's very, very awesome. And so that's why I'm so excited about what this does for us as air gunners. All right, guys, let's go ahead and just wrap this up now. I want to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. And you guys know, because I say it every single time, when you're looking to get your next air gun or looking to get your next batch of airgun supplies or airgun accessory, please do so at www.pyramidair.com. And also, please let them know that Rick sent you their way. My name is Rick Utzler here with Airgun Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.